A lot of people have asked me over the last eight months why I've decided to run for the Progressive Labor Party and in politics in general. Well, I love my country. I really love my country. I want to give back to my country that has given so much to me. Progressive Labor Party is the only party that I would ever run for. I weren't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, and I've labored hard, I've worked hard to get where I am today. I'm here to tell you, I'm white, I'm a proud to be a white Bermudian, and I'm proud to be trying to break the barriers like the Barber Bowles and others before me that are true to the course. I have been supported by some whites, and ostracized by others who offer myself as a candidate for the PLP. I can handle it, and my family can handle it, and we're gonna be here again for a long time. I am a firm believer that the PLP is the party for the people and has the same philosophies as I do. And as the PLP government stays on course with our patents, of progress. They will continue to break the barriers and will get more support from voters of all cultures here in Bermuda. I was once told that elections are like wars. They're exciting. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh man, I'm excited. But they're also dangerous. The only difference between the two is that in wars, you die once. During elections, one can be killed many times. And there are those that have tried to assassinate us over the last several months. But with you, 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 the soldiers in the trenches, and your support on election day, this will never happen. All I ask you to do is stay focused. Look through the fog and smoke screens set to blind you. Take a good look at it. We must never forget the blood, sweat, and tears of our forefathers. And we, the PLP, will never forget how you have labored for this country. Look at what the pre-progressive Labor Party have done in only two terms. Cheaper airlines to and from Bermuda. Fast ferries are zooming around the shorelines with new requests coming in every week. Benefits have increased immensely. Affordable housing has continued to be built at a very fast rate. We are teaching our people how to manage their finances. International business is booming. New hotels are being built and renovated as we speak, including the one in my constituency. They can talk about our tourism figures all they want. Certain people are laughing all the way to the bank. Let me just leave you on this note. There's much work to be done. There is still work to be done. Education, tourism, public safety and security, and sustaining our environment. I ask you to be, be patient, Bermuda. Be patient. We've only had three terms. We have a lot of things to change. 350 years of it. Be patient. Let's not go backward. Let's say solid, solid as a rock, and move Bermuda forward as we continue on our patterns of progress. Thank you. Good evening. My words at this time are for all of us, but in particular, they are directed to my generation and the generation to follow. They are meant to remind us of the hard-earned right to vote and the reasons for our four-parent struggle to fight for this right, but also, and more importantly, our responsibility in exercising this right. Family, we are currently passing 
through one of the most important times in the history of Bermuda. This election on December the 18th, according to the choice that we make, has the potential to resound to our everlasting benefit or contribute to our eternal condemnation. Our history teaches and reminds us of the noble principles in which the Progressive Labor Party was founded. That is, the ushering in of equality and justice in a society that was built and maintained upon the fragile pillars of the unequal and the unjust. Our history also reminds us that a major part of this quest, which is in fact the desire to create a Bermudian society that is based on peace, respect, and love, was centered on the right to vote. Such has been the magnitude of the struggle that it was only until the Progressive Labor Party became the government did the mission bear full fruit with the ushering in of single seat constituencies. This singular accomplishment ensured that there is now one man, one vote of equal value. It was in recognition of the truth that man being created in the image of the almighty is a living soul and thus renders all other man his equal. As such, through the efforts of our parents and grandparents, they have now given our generation the political tool to be the masters of our earned fates and the controllers of our destiny. But family, our task is not complete. There is so much work that still needs to be done. Our elders efforts and sacrifices were intended for us in this time in the hope that we, the present generation, may fully recognize that the baton of responsibility is now being passed. The question is, are we, our generation, in a position to receive our legacy, our inheritance, or are we going to be the careless ones that dropped the baton? It is now up to us to ensure that these tools, these rights, are utilized in a manner in which through hard work and righteous, selfless intentions, we may right the wrongs of the past and heal the scars of a most vile, cruel, ignorable social framework for any island society. Family, not only do I say these things to encourage you to vote, but I encourage you to vote on the 18th for the Progressive Labor Party. Cash a vote for the party whose roots are equality and justice. Vote for the party whose mandate is to ensure material and spiritual progress for all the people without partiality, fear, or favor.